We got ourselves some American Cornhole Organization action coming on down here live. Here we go! Live from the Toyota Arena, American Cornhole Organization and England Strikers, Empire Strikers. Let's go, gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, these two teams had fought from the North Pavilion here at Toyota Arena to get to this point. Right now, you're going to see Corey from Team Monica throwing these black colored bags here. So we have two bags on the board. Those are equaling out to no points total yet. Next to take a shot, and he sinks it. That's Cody. So Cody has three points in, plus the one on the board. That's four. Minus the two, and another one in. First round is handedly going to the dirty bags, but not before Corey is able to fire back. One bag apiece remaining, and he sinks it again. One bag left on, that's nine plus one is 10. All up to Corey to see what he can do to play defense here, and he has three left on the board and one sunk. So the first round is going to go to the dirty bags. Throwing for the dirty bags just a second ago, that was George. Now Team Monica throwing the black bags. That's Mark. Mark leaves it on the board. This is a nice defensive play. It's going to force Cody to try and score up and over because if he pushes the bag, it's going to go into the hole. Here comes a second bag from Mark, and he stacks it up. It's going to be really tough to get those bags to drop now. You're going to have to be very close to perfect. Mark coming in with his second to last shot. This one's sliding in, and it brought, it brought a couple of the bags into the hole. It's going to be two pink bags to one. There's two black bags left on the board now and that's going to sink another two they are all tied up it's up to this last bag from mark mark so just a little bit long and that round is going to go to the dirty bags once again and we're going to pause right now really quick to see exactly what the score is so at this time, Dirty Bags are leading it five to zero. It's our, you have to figure every single one of these throws that they make is so consequential. Cody sinks it. Here comes the shot from Corey. He sinks it back to back. It's all even here. And they are playing, trying to be almost near perfect. A couple of the times that we were out on the North Patio, we saw these guys four for four. But look at Corey just sliding that bag right in there, not knocking in the pink bag. That's so consequential at this point. But two bags could fall, and he gets the other one. But it is in a far left position, and that's going to be tough. It might even come off the board, depending on how much energy is transferred from the bag to the board. And that's two now on top of the board, and a great defensive shot here from Corey. And here comes the final throw from Cody, and that's just off the back of the board. This might be an opportunity for Team Monica to take some points back. It is 0-5 currently, and he knocks another bag in. So Team Monica is going to take a number of points there, as it is previously 0-5. to and now it is going to be 7-7 seven seven as the scoreline. That was a huge round for Team Monica, all even as we get into the fourth time around. First throw from Team Monica's Mark, just a little bit over. He is sitting right there on the edge of the hole. That's a tough spot to be in, but he throws another one to the right. And what a interesting way that this is broken down. Just a update is three to seven. Team Monica has actually secured the lead. And that is another shot in from Mark. Another pink bag from the Dirty Bags. George able to sink one in. And we'll see if this goes all even as that's two. The final bag. And oh, it's going to go in. So a tie round as it will stay three to seven on the aggregate score as it stands now. Here comes Corey from Team Monica. He will throw the first bag on the top left part of the board. A tough position to start out with the first throw. Here comes Cody. Man, sinks it right there. They're up three points, two points. That's a, and sinks it again. 
Now Team Monica is up one point and he is going back to back. We might see perfection here, maybe. Corey trying his best to stay in the fight here and he's got the back holding on to the corner of the hole. It might drop and it does. Cody knocks in the bag from Team Monica's Corey. And the final bag of this round from Corey sinks it in and my goodness he leaves one but that's nine plus one is ten and it's all down to cody now to try and make two bags sink can he get all four big throw and they're both in four for four <laughs> my goodness it was looking like it was all team monica there but actually team or the dirty bags ended up taking the round it is now five to seven we have four minutes and 48 seconds left on the clock no need to rush boys but four minutes and now 45 seconds is the first bag from team monica's george goes just over the top left he's throwing the second bag and now he has a defensive bag on the left side of the hole and here comes the next shot from mark and he sinks it without dropping the other two bags can they make it happen two left on the board now here comes the next shot from mark mark is able to go three for three and now now we will see three bags on the board plus one in, and this could all change if something happens. It goes in, Team Monica, Mark. Oh my goodness, four for four, holy cow. And we are seeing a little bit of an upgrade in the score. My goodness, 13 to five, Team Monica. You have four minutes to try and secure your destiny. Dirty bags, time is ticking, but that doesn't mean anything. We know you have it. Here comes Cody. A nice bag over. Oh, and it's just hanging on. Can we get this any closer at this point? Here comes Corey. He was perfect on the first throw. Second throw is perfect. And look at that pink bag from Cody just hanging on. That could easily drop in with the right throw here. Here comes the next shot. Oh! And two bags basically just dangling in there. There is, you got to imagine the next, the next bag that hits the board is going to drop them, right? And they both fall in, and now Corey is doing his best impersonation of Cody. Cody, two bags remaining here. Here is his second to last shot. This one over the top of the right. So no points there. Last bag for each of them. Three minutes now left on the clock and this is winding down quickly one bag in leaves one on the board now cody he could get some points back right here as long as he does not bump that bag from team monica back in at the top left there here he goes with his final throw of this round sinks his shot and they leave one on top and the dirty bags were able to make three they had one go over the back so a good job of making sure they don't lose too many points on the round it is six to 13. two minutes and 30 seconds now remaining in this game first throw in from mark over the top right and this is an opportunity here a great shot it may not look like it but george just placed that bag in probably the hardest position to score from which is right in front of the target and you see that shot from mark just go a little bit long because it's really difficult to try and make it score only unfortunate side is that it's going to be really difficult to try and drop your own bags in so here we go this is a long defensive play if he can score one shot from mark onto the board and now an opportunity with two bags remaining for George to try and get some points on the board for the dirty bags. Here comes the shot and it's in, and he's able to get three points down. That's three plus one is four, as opposed to the two on the board for Team Monica, and that's three on the board, and that's the best you can do right there outside of absolutely making it clean through the hole. Here comes the final bag from the dirty bags, and that's up and over. So that is a one point round for the Dirty Bags. It's gonna change the score to seven to 13 and time is winding down at this point. We will take a time check in a second here. Seven to 13 is the score as it stands right now. So that bag officially marked out from our officials. Here comes the bag from Team Monica's Corey. He's now right on the edge. 
Cody has to be perfect here. Puts his bag in a good defensive position. Now, the thing is, if a bag slides in from the center in the middle, it might bump something out of the way, and it does, but Corey's able to capitalize on it. So he's got still one on the board. It's 7-13 to 13 as it stands right now, and that's a nice shot from Cody as he's able to get the score back into his way. It looks like there's two bags remaining here for Team Monica's Corey, and he's able to sink one bag, and that bag is holding on for dear life as we are getting down to the final shot for Cody of the Dirty Bags. Throws it in, and it knocks in Team Monica's bag on the board, and that's going to be really tough here. And the final bag from Team Monica sinks, and it's going to be six points. So 13 is going to go to 19. It's going to be 19. And we have 10 seconds remaining. And that is going to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, your American Cornhole Organization Tournament Champions, winner of $1,000, Team Monica! Ladies and gentlemen, if you're interested in tournaments for cornhole, visit AmericanCornhole.com to see any local events that are happening in your area. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for cheering on our cornhole champions.